it's actually morning for a change. Normally it's not that morning or it's late morning when I vlog. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. It's actually Thanksgiving for me, so this is the second video I'm pre-filming. And there is, I don't know if it'll focus behind me, a beautiful sunrise this morning. Go over there. Oh yeah, I should go over here. Mom's here. We're out with the dogs. It's nice and cool. It's only like 50. 50. It's 50 degrees. I woke up early because I couldn't sleep. But um, it meant I got to see a really pretty sunrise. So we've got a view of the whole sky from up here. It's definitely getting brighter and more pink than when I first came out. Okay, mom's going back in for her coffee. We're gonna go for a hike later. I came over here yesterday um, and spent the night. So I came over on Wednesday and then I'll stay here tonight as well. And so we went for a hike yesterday. We're trying out a new little park an area of trails. So we just did a short one yesterday, short and flat. And then today we're gonna try a slightly longer and slightly more challenging, well, quite a bit more challenging by the sound of it, more challenging hike. So that should be fun. Um, and then it's Thanksgiving. So there's gonna be lots of food and lots of festive fun. I don't always get to vlog Thanksgiving as part of Vlogmas. I've done this in the past as like day two of Vlogmas, but not last year. But yeah, it just kind of worked out that this would work as day two. So for me, Thanksgiving is more about togetherness and being with my family and being grateful. And I just tie all that in with the Christmas season. As you'll have seen in yesterday's day of Vlogmas, the Christmas tree and all the decorations are already up back in my apartment. It's still looking very autumnal here at my parents' house because my parents do have a fairly firm rule of no Christmas decorating until after Thanksgiving. So mom will probably start decorating tomorrow, but it's still gonna be very festive and a holiday family here at home so um, it seemed like a good thing to vlog a little bit early and include as part of vlogmas so welcome to day two of vlogmas um, it should be a lovely cozy fun and festive day with the family i'm hoping these clouds will stick around and not maybe even get a little bit thicker as the sun comes up because if we could have a partly cloudy hike that would be amazing Okay, I'm out with mom. Say hello. Hi, everybody. It's, it's Thanksgiving, but this is mom's first Vlogmas 2023 appearance. Okay. You'll, you'll probably see her quite a few times throughout the rest of this month. We're going hiking. I thought that was in yesterday's, but... I didn't vlog yesterday. Oh, that wasn't a vlog. I wasn't vlogging. Okay. I didn't vlog the day before Thanksgiving. Sorry, guys. Took that day off. <laughs> I was too busy grading rough drafts and working really late to try to get stuff wrapped up for Thanksgiving break. But yeah, we're trying out a new park and a new trail. We did came out to this park yesterday, but a different area of it. So today we're gonna try a different trail, a little bit more intense trail, I think. Sign. Yeah, there's another marker telling us to cross the street. So we're kind of in a residential neighborhood. It's a 
go up the street too. Yeah. I don't know, I guess it's gated no, there's a gate even for pedestrians. Keep the riffraff out, us being the riffraff. So we're back from hiking. Mom and I survived. It was touch and go. Andrew killed me and almost <laughs> killed me. What did you say that one time? We almost both wiped out. Well, not and wiped one out. One time, my mom, when I took you on the canal walk. You broke me? Broke me, yeah. Yeah. Andrew broke me. Uh-uh. Mom broke me again, because it was her idea to try out these new trails. Mm -hmm. Let's check out these, this new park I found out about. Like, okay. And then, yeah. It was not very long. Like, it was beautiful. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun, more or less. <laughs> gorgeous views. Gorgeous, gorgeous views. Very different terrain than kind of what I'm used to hiking over in the park where I normally hike. But very, very, very steep and very rocky. I need to eat. That was part of the problem. I hadn't eaten because we went for a morning hike and I don't normally eat first thing in the morning. Probably hadn't had enough to drink, hadn't had enough to eat, only got five and a half hours of sleep last night. So my stability on the trail was not the greatest. So I really, really, really wanted to keep going because it was really fun and it was a gorgeous trail. And there were a lot of other people out there who were just zipping right by us. <laughs> Definitely, they seemed to feel a lot more comfortable on that trail. But eventually we, we were really, really close to what I think was the top, but we turned around. So it's just after 11. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is still on. But I think we're gonna have some breakfast and I'm gonna make the punch. And then mom and I will each take a shower and get cleaned up. It's not really um, breakfast, it's kind of a little snack before lunch. Snack before lunch. I need to eat something. I have to eat something. I am really hungry. And then at some point soon, Lisa's gonna get the turkey going and it'll be another few hours before we have the full dinner. So once I take a shower, I can rest a little bit, I hope. I'm definitely ready to rest for a bit. Get some puppy snuggles. Lexi's here with us. She's glad that we're back. So yeah, great hike, great way to start Thanksgiving. I definitely wanted to go for a hike this morning. It was a little bit more than I bargained for, but was definitely worth it. <laughs>
escaped from the kitchen for a moment. Football's on in the big TV, which is why I've come in here to update the vlog because it's a little hard to vlog when there's football blaring in the background. And I don't think anyone would be happy if I muted the football to talk to you all. So yeah, this is your little mid vlog update. It's been a really lovely day. It's quiet, which is really nice. It's warmed up a little bit, but it stayed really cloudy. So it at least feels a little bit more autumnal. It's hard getting into the mood for things like Thanksgiving and Christmas when it's super sunny and really warm outside. And this, I feel like this year is definitely warmer than this time last year. I feel like last Thanksgiving was a little bit cooler. I think it was like in the low to mid 60s and it's like 72 degrees outside. My watch says 69. Um, but the thermometer for the back patio says 72. So it was gorgeous for our hike earlier. The sun started trying to come out late towards the end of the hike and that was making it a little less nice. But we had a beautiful cloudy hike as you will have seen. I'm doing okay after the hike. So is mom. Mom's definitely getting tired, I think. So she's sitting down on the couch with dad. I'm going to go join them for a little bit. And then I think the turkey's not going to be ready for another 30 minutes or so. We had planned to eat at 3. It's 3 o'clock now. 3.01. <laughs> so we decided to have everything ready for 3 o'clock knowing that then it would most likely be ready by four. Whereas if we plan for four, we probably wouldn't be eating until five. So yeah, so we'll have dinner at around four probably. Um, and then that means we can have pie probably around six or seven. So yeah, it's been a lovely family holiday so far. It's not done yet. So I'm gonna go relax for a little bit, snuggle on the couch. Hopefully if I can wedge in between mom and dad and the dogs, try to sit down and snuggle with the dogs a little bit. I've got a glass of our punch. The table is set, so everything's ready from that perspective. So now it's waiting for that turkey to be ready. Okay, we are done with dinner. We are done with dishes. Food is put away. Counters are clean. <laughs> Order has been mostly restored to the kitchen. And my pumpkin pie cracked a little. And mom has cracked the pumpkin pie again. Yeah. She would not pass the technical challenge. Nope. But I'm sure it is going to pass the taste challenge. Yeah, it wants to like slide right out of your sure the pie does. dish. You want a quarter of a yes, piece? Yes, please. Or well, an eighth. an eighth. Yeah, I'll take a quarter. <laughs> so mom made the pies when? On Monday? Monday. Monday. Yeah. So mom got ahead on the pies. Mm, I don't know. You might not like it. Oh, you don't have a plate. That one right there. Soggy bottoms? Well, last year, mom proclaimed quite loudly <laughs> that, this year. that she likes soggy bottoms. <laughs> I like soggy pie bottoms, okay? The whipped cream. I was re-watching the vlog from last year in that moment and it was the combination of the conviction with which you said it. I like soggy bottoms, but you were also waving a knife. 
<laughs> yeah, if you haven't watched last year's Thanksgiving vlog, I highly recommend it. It was pretty funny. Um, you are Lisa? Yeah, so don't put it away. Okay. You ready? Yes. Please. Dollop of dollop, please. Dollop me up. Dollop. Big dollop. Another dollop? No, that's enough. So there's still a football game on. Um, it's the San Francisco. Lisa, 49ers, and the Seattle Seahawks. So yeah, so this is the third football game of the day. Is this the final one? For tonight, yeah. This is it for tonight? Okay. Of course, it's already seven o'clock, so I can't guarantee that we'll be able to watch anything other than football today. It might be an all football day. Um, it's not a soggy bottom. It is not a soggy bottom? Okay. Mom just inspected the bottom of the pie crust. Mm -hmm, yeah. I'm very excited about this. Very, very excited indeed. Okay, it is now the day after Thanksgiving. Um, I figured I would continue the vlog today just a little bit. So we had a lovely Thanksgiving, right mama? I won't show you on camera. Yes, we did. Mom is in full, full slug mode. I am. <laughs> Mom's just gonna be a slug on the couch today. I haven't even gotten out of my bathroom yet, so yeah, don't put me in. Yeah, we had a nice holiday. The food was the food was amazing, and I'm so glad that there's so many leftovers. So I'm taking home like three days of food with me, so that will be fantastic. I'm going to make some cookies, which is another reason why I thought I would continue the vlog today a little bit. So I'm gonna bake the first batch of Norwegian Christmas cookies for this holiday season, so I'm very excited about that. And then I've, I'm mostly packed, so once the cookies are done and cooled enough to put away, I will pack everything up and head back to my place. And then the plan is just to have a very cozy and relaxing day on the couch back at my apartment. So mom's gonna be relaxing on the couch here. I'm gonna be relaxing on the couch back at home. I'm just ready to do nothing for the rest of the day, basically, except bake these cookies and drive myself home. The Norwegian cookies, as longtime viewers will know, are based on a old Norwegian recipe, but they have definitely been Americanized, but mom has been making them for our family for as long as I can remember. When did you start making them, do you know? Making what? Exactly. The Norwegian cookies. Was it before I was born, like when you and dad were first married, or no, was it? after. I think, I think I have the booklet in there that has the date. Was it like the Kelly Barracks one? Yeah, I think so. I think it was in, while one we were in Germany. Mom found it in a Army Wives cookbook. No. Uh -huh. No? No, it was a Pillsbury cook-off. Oh. oh. They used to give these little cook -off No, little it was the Norwegian cookies. You always said it was an Army Wife cookbook. No, it wasn't. I remember. I never said that it was a army wife cookbook all right oh no you could be right 
that it was another it was army another wife one. whose husband had Norwegian ancestry or she had Norwegian she ancestry had, she she and they'd Americanized an old, old Don't family recipe. <laughs> you can't start changing. Don't I won't. I'll, I'll follow behind you. I am so sore on the back of my arm from my pulls. Oh, from your trekking pulls? And then my right, my right calf. So after that after right. that hike yesterday I am feeling remarkably okay I was expecting I was expecting for my my legs my thighs especially to be really really sore today because some of the steps were really steep like climbing up over the rocks and so it was like doing hundreds of single leg lunges um, so you don't want to just step really quick. You want to keep your balance. So I was expecting to be in a lot of pain today, and I'm not. I could have sworn it was one of your bigger no, uh, military one, wives cookbooks. I swear it was a military cookbook. So we're going to look, because now this is going to bug us until we find out the answer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is the second collection. Yeah. So we found it. We were both partially right. It was Military Wives, and it wasn't Pillsbury, but it was Betty Crocker. Oh, that's a Betty Crocker? Yeah, it's a Betty Crocker one. And then these are the cookies. And so these are from Barrett, Barrett Mascaric. And she says she met her husband in Oslo when he was in the um, AF administration and she worked at the American Embassy as the president of the Sons of Norway Lodge and Norseman's Federation teacher and volunteer translator for the Red Cross Language Bank she kept Norwegian tradition alive and so we were both kind of right it wasn't from a military wives like community cookbook but it was military wives for Betty Crocker and it was someone it was who had married someone with Norwegian. To buy their product at the grocery store, at the commissary. If you look at one of the things at the back, it says. Oh, yeah. So. Whatever. Brand. So cool. Um, I need to double check this recipe back again. In the day, before there was a TikTok or whatever. Yeah. They would have all kinds of, like, some of the stuff I have in here. Yeah, mom has a whole collection of little slim cookbook pamphlet type things like this. Come from the brand, whoever. Yeah, that are published by the different food yeah, brands. Yeah, so like Campbell's Soup had a whole bunch of. Here's some. This one is Kraft Cheese Cookbook. There's no price on this, but I imagine this couldn't have been that expensive. No, no, those were free. Oh, they were free. Even yeah, better. all of these were free. Free recipe books. Because they but wanted then, you to buy their product. So, like this one is a craft book. Craft foods. The cream cheese yeah. people. And yeah. Cheese. So, I mean, it had great recipes in it. So. Oh, fun. but here's one. The quick coconut pecan bars calls for one package of Betty Crocker coconut pecan frosting mix. Yeah. So they're trying to get you to get Some their products. And then Bisquick. I remember all the Bisquick ones. Yeah, we've got a ton of these. So yeah, I'm gonna get these. I need to eat something, but I wanna get the cookies going sooner rather than later because they are gonna need time to cook and time to cool. It's only 1021, so it's not that late. So I'm gonna get baking and get eating, get breakfast sorted out. And then hopefully by the time I'm done baking, the dogs will be back from their walk with dad. And then we can get some puppy snuggles. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand, take me away Christmas Day. Give thanks for this.
past year Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share Oh, what a bliss A green red delight With glimmering silver white You dazzle us all From big to small Warm laughter and white smiles My presence stacked in piles Take me away Christmas Day Okay, <laughs> I'm home. I have had a super cozy and relaxing evening or afternoon. Now it's evening and I need to get dinner heated up. It's just leftovers, but it's the best leftovers. There is something about leftover turkey dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner, like just leftovers of a big holiday meal. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I have just been on the couch all evening, all snugly in a hoodie and under a blanket. I have the windows open, the AC is off, it's nice and cool in here. It's been a bit breezy all day. I feel like the breeze has finally like calmed down a little bit, so it's quiet outside. But earlier I could hear the wind blowing through the trees. Oh, it's just amazing. I, I live for this time of year. I truly, truly do. And like, it's both the festiveness, like I'm just like, this just makes me so excited seeing that over my shoulder. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed spending a couple days around Thanksgiving with me and my family. It's been, a wonderful Thanksgiving this year and definitely feeling like the Christmas season is is kicking off and I'm excited I've got the first batch of Christmas cookies I've got the Christmas tree up everything is is ready for the holidays getting ideas for Christmas gifts I need to start doing all of my shopping I always mean to do my Christmas shopping like throughout the year or something and I'm never that organized so it ends up waiting until December, but I need to now get it done because I don't want to wait too late into December. I can't believe it's Vlogmas either. I don't know where this whole year is gone. So I'm a bit disconcerted <laughs> in a way that it's Vlogmas again, but I'm also really, really, really excited that it's Vlogmas again. And I know that we have so many more lovely, amazing, wonderful friends here following along on the channel and part of the community here than we did last year. I don't know the exact number, but I'm pretty sure it's at least a thousand new subscribers since last year and last Vlogmas. So like there's a bunch of you for whom this will be, you know, your second Vlogmas or your third or fourth or fifth. Let me know if anyone has watched every single Vlogmas. I can think of a couple people off the top of my head. My friend Tamsin and my friend Shannon, I know have been around these parts from the very first Vlogmas I've ever done. But let me know if there's any anyone else who's been here for the seven previous Vlogmases, if this is your eighth. Um, or if this is your seventh or sixth, any, you know, OG Vlogmas viewers out there, let me know. Um, thank you again. But if it's your first Vlogmas, welcome. I hope I said that in yesterday's <laughs> vlog, but if not, I'm saying it now or saying it again at least. Welcome to Vlogmas. Welcome to Vlogmas here on my channel. This is my favorite time of year as both a content creator and as a viewer in terms of favorite time to be here on YouTube. And so I'm really excited to share another year and another Vlogmas with all of you. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. All of that great YouTube-y stuff. I would really appreciate it. Say hi in the comments. 
let me know is there a cookie or baked good of some sort that you only bake during this time of year for Christmas or for another holiday if you celebrate something different but is there a cookie or special baked good that like is only a seasonal treat during the festive holiday season so what is it I would love to know and also bonus question have you yet made or purchased the first batch of whatever baked good it is that you like during this time of year um, I'm so excited to have a fresh batch of Norwegian cookies you have no idea this is definitely one of the highlights of this time of year and this is one of the things that's really truly making me feel like it's Christmas because I have Norwegian cookies again. So yeah, you can let me know Christmas, festive, holiday, baking, or you can leave me a cookie emoji to let me know which one of you lovely people have made it all the way to the end of day two of Vlogmas. And yeah, I'm gonna get going and I will see you all tomorrow in day three. Thank you very much for watching today. Bye. Dazzle us all from big to small.